good morning. It's afternoon here. Good afternoon world and all who inhabit it. Today we are doing a get ready with me while I tell you stories about making my parents life hard. I now let me say I was never like a bad kid. I never was like drinking alcohol. I never have done drugs. I don't do that stuff. But I was just like a little troublemaker and just annoying to my parents. <laughs> so we're gonna get ready because I have to work. And then we're gonna, you're gonna find out more about my life. I'm gonna start with when I was the youngest to oldest stories. Oh, he's so cute. First, let me start out. My parents waited quite a while before they had kids. They had my older sister first. And my older sister, she was the perfect baby. She was so perfect that my parents were like, wow, raising kids is easy. Let's do this again. And first of all, they wanted us to be two years apart, but we're 18 months apart. And so like they got pregnant a lot quicker than they thought. And they were like, all right, cool, let's do this again because raising kids is easy. But that was not the case. Because I came along, first of all, I was born before like the doctor actually like arrived in the room. Like two hours after my mom's water broke, I was born. I came out quickly. Once they had me finally, uh, I was here on this earth existing and they were thinking this is going to be so easy. Well, they were wrong <laughs> because I had what's called colic which is basically when a baby cries for no reason. <laughs> no known reason, it's a healthy baby, they just cry for no reason. And my mom, she tells me specifically this story. For some reason, I had a liking towards my dad and my dad would go to school at night. And so once my dad would leave, my mom was stuck with my older sister and I, and then I would just start crying and crying and not stopping. And then it, my mom was like so stressed out. And then Phoebe, my older sister, then she started crying, then my mom started crying. And it was just a cry fest. Ah. Another story, my sister and I were playing and you know how kids, they just like have a very active imagination. And so in our imaginations, we, thought that polar bears were chasing us. <laughs> and we had baby strollers and baby dolls, and so we were trying to protect our babies from the polar bears, like you should. So we got onto the office chair in my mom's office, and I pushed her off the office chair, and she broke her arm. <laughs> and we never told our parents what happened. Like my sister, she was like, I got your back. You're not getting in trouble. So my parents never found out till about five years ago. The truth finally came out. <laughs> Another story. This story isn't actually me being in trouble. I just kind of thought it was funny. I told her I finally figured out what color was my favorite. And I came up to her cause I, we were picking her up from school. I was like three or four or something. And I was like, Phoebe, I know what my favorite color is. It's the color pink. And then she said, you can't like pink because I like pink. <laughs> and she said, your favorite color is blue. And my favorite color is blue. Look at my room. It's blue. It's turquoise. Oh, I have this like giant spot I missed. Go Kira. So one thing I don't like about this foundation, it's really liquidy. It's by NYX, cause your girl's broke. Uh, Total Control Drop Foundation. And I kind of just got it cause I was like, I love the bottle. I like it, I think it's cool. Cause I've always, you know those highlighters that have that like drip bottle? Yeah, well I got one of those too. And it's everything and everything. The Dutchman's Treasure! Wow. Another story. When I was younger, I was kind of odd. And you know, most kids, they have their favorite animals and you know, it's like, oh, an elephant or like a giraffe or you know, something you'd see at the zoo. My favorite animal, however, was a chicken. <laughs> and I loved chickens. Oh. One day, 
I was, I think I was at like McDonald's Burger King or something. And like I got like a chicken nugget meal and like I finally put two and two together that my favorite animal, a chicken, is the same as chicken nuggets. And so I turned to my dad and I was like, dad, are chicken nuggets, do they come from chickens? And he slowly nodded to me and I had this realization that everything is false in my life. Like Illuminati's real and I continued to eat my chicken nuggets. <laughs> I still like chickens though. Cause you know, I have chickens in my backyard right now. They're great. They are doing fantastic in this Arizona heat. Ooh. Yeah, I don't really know why I was really obsessed with chickens, but my mom really likes chickens now too because we have chickens and she's just like, I love chickens so much. And I feel that, I, I really do. I feel like my makeup looks splotchy, but I don't feel like fixing it. So come at me, James Charles. Another story. One time I was playing hide and seek with my mom without her knowledge. <laughs> so I was just hiding. I would remember specifically where I was hiding. I was in my mom and dad's room and the comforter was like just draped around the bed. It wasn't like tucked into the mattress like at hotels, even though I like, that's how I like my mat, but my like bed made. Um, it was draped there and I was like, yes. This is my hiding spot. So I was hiding underneath the blanket on the side of the bed. And there was kind of like this little like spot that went like that and there was like drawers. And so like it was like perfect cause it looked like it was already like out. So I didn't like blend in. Like it wasn't obvious that there was a kid hiding underneath that blanket. So hold on, let me just buff this in real quick. Oh my God. That's bad. It looks worse on there than it does in real life. Whatever, I don't care. Oh yeah, hiding. My sister was already in school. My mom was like, okay, we need to go pick Phoebe up. And I was still hiding. I was like, I'm gonna win this game that my mom doesn't know that we're playing. My mom starts like yelling for my, yelling my name, being like, Kira, we gotta go. Like, we're gonna be late. We need to go pick up Phoebe. And I still was not having it. I was like, I'm gonna win this game. Anyways, my mom is still looking for me. And I remember specifically her like looking for me in her room. And like she would walk by me and I thought it was the funniest thing. She was, she was thinking like, should she got kidnapped. Someone came in the house, she's kidnapped. Like there's something like this isn't right. Like she, like this doesn't make any sense. And so, Eventually, I am like, I will, and I'll come out finally. Just like, you know, when you're a kid, it's like, okay, I give up. And then you come out wherever you were hiding. I remember very vividly coming out into the living room to her crying. And then I was like, why are you crying, mom? And then she was like, where were you? One time, I was mad at my mom for some reason, and I don't remember why. And that's probably, like, that tells you that, like, it probably was something, like, really stupid. If I can't remember it, I, I didn't want to be at home anymore. So I decided I'm going to run away. I started running down the street. And this is, like, when we were living in a not really safe neighborhood because it was right after 9-11. The recession happened and, like, it affected everyone. We were living in this condo and... I'm running down the sidewalk of my street because I was like, I'm not dealing with this horrible mother. My mother's not horrible, she's great. But like my brain was still developing, so I thought this was completely irrational. I am still running down the street and my mom is chasing me down the street. And she doesn't even remember the story. She was saying like, no, you can't run away. That like, you know, like this neighborhood isn't safe. Where are you gonna go? You can't go anywhere on foot. <laughs> you can't make it to Nana and Papa's house on foot. And then she said to me, which caused me to stop. If you keep running, you can't go to church tonight. So I stopped running. I can't think of any other stories. I'm gonna ask my sister, cause she's here. She knows any stories. Phoebe, come here. 
Jim Cut Corn, I don't care which one. <laughs> Do you have any childhood stories of where you made mom and daddy's life hell? What about the time you had colic for seven years straight? <laughs> I still have colic. <laughs> okay. What do you want? Once, once we were swimming and it was with Ma and you, I don't know where Hannah was, maybe she wasn't born yet, but Ma, like we did, we were terrified of the water so we always had like pool floaties and so this one time, Ma was giving you all the attention and I wanted some of the attention so I purposely drowned myself <laughs> because I wanted attention! I'm not even kidding, I did, did you that! you drowned yourself? Yeah! I just made it look like I was like, all right, go underwater, hold breath, <laughs> and then Ma saved me, and then I was like, I was drowning, you were paying attention to me. Why do you have a family size bag of chips on your bed? <laughs> I was hungry last night. <laughs> I was really hungry, and I went out, and I was like, Ma, I'm hungry, but she didn't care. And so I took my Invisalign out, and I ate that yogurt and a marshmallow. <laughs> Lipstick! Ew. All right, well, I can't think of any more stories, so that's gonna be the end of this video. If you like this video, make sure you let me know, give it a like, comment, subscribe, you know, the drill. I will see you guys next time, bye!